Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Exalted One and welcome back to the fucking Nexus! In today's video we are playing the wonderful, illustrious mage herself, Jaina Proudmoore. Uh, most of her abilities come from freezing and hitting enemies again with her abilities. Very, very strong in team fights. very good in tight corridors. She's an AoE mage, similar to where they're building Kael'thas, but she is the original, the best at it, and her Ring of Frost is absolutely a gigantic impact to most team fights if you hit them right. So we're going to go ahead and hop into the Nexus and see how we can exemplify that for her today. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, today we find ourselves on Infernal Shrines. The friendly team, we had someone leave already. Arthas, Medivh, Jaina, Thrall, and Abathur. Nope, Thrall rejoined, that's perfect. And the enemy team, Thrall, Rainer, Johanna, Medivh, Nova. At level 1, we are going for Lingering Chill, increasing the duration of our trait from 4 to 6 seconds. Our trait, uh, by the way, is Chill Target, slowing movement speed by 25%, and upping the damage from all of your abilities by 50%. Uh, and that is now going to last for 6 seconds. So we kind of mark them and deal additional damage just for us or on our own abilities. Uh, which, our abilities, by the way, Q is a straight line skill shot. That is Frost Bolt does quite a bit of damage it gives you a very very low cooldown so that is on four seconds so you can usually hit a target uh with that frost bolt just like that doesn't do a whole ton of damage but it does enough that it will be impactful so we're gonna hit jaina here even though medivh does shield her we do gain uh the proc from our trait off of her so we're just gonna keep kind of poking in here when we can um, we're gonna go ahead and drop. Whoop, we need to get. Fuck! Been fucked up. Alright. Uh, not a lot. Okay, Arthas and Avatar in the same lane. We need someone to go top. The enemy team Nova soaking top, doing the right thing instead of ganking where she normally would be. Now Thrall going to abandon the mid lane. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the mid lane. <laughs> Seems kind of common in quick match these days that uh, soaking is just kind of by the wayside. That who gives a shit about soaking? All right, uh, we are gonna. Whoa, shit! We're gonna try and not die here. Is what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna drop that down. We're gonna be taking a bit of damage from the Rainer because of his increased melee attack range. He is gonna be able to deter us quite well throughout the majority of this match. Arthur's gonna slow him down. Oh, alright. We did get a little bit of a shot out there. Okay. Whoa! Shit! Okay. Um. The Medivh portals kind of fuck you up a little bit if you're not, uh, not paying attention. We're gonna go ahead and stay middle here, try and get this out. So we went over our Q ability, our W, what we just saw there, which is Blizzard. is an AoE a damaging ability in a circle. It does crash down three different times, so very, very good zoning tool. Uh, very good for AoE clear. Like, uh, for these shrines, it's going to be magnificent, so we're going to go ahead and start that. Drop this down. Drop that down. Okay. Uh, Arthas going to die. We are now way the fuck out of position and likely to die as well. Medivh giving the portal way too deep out there. All right, at level four, uh, we are going to go for Arcane Intellect. Basically, damaging a chilled target returns mana to Jaina. Basic attack to turn five and abilities return 20. So it's going to up our sustain much, much better. I think Arthas is saying that he walked right by a Medivh portal and did not activate it or did not uh, run through it. Could have survived, so he did not die here, which would be ideal. Uh, we are going to run in here. We're gonna drop this down. We're gonna be able to kill the Thrall very easily. Uh, should be able to push in here on this Rainer. Uh, and that is... Oh, he's going to die. It's just gonna take a second. This Medivh shield's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass for us throughout this game. We are gonna want to stay a little bit tighter to this Thrall. So we drop down these Blizzards here to knock down these waves of minions. We might actually be able to take this before... The enemy team can really respond too well here. Oh, we need to be careful there. The Nova. Um, that is the real Nova, by the way, if you would like to get in there on it. 
friendly team. Thank you. We do take down that Nova. We do need to get in here. The enemy team clumping up again. Going to take a shitload of damage. The root coming out from our Arthas. We're going to be able to chase them down pretty hard here. Um, we do take her down. We do take down the Thrall, though we are very, very weak. We only have one more to take down, and we do get the first Punisher of the game. Luckily enough for us, that is an Arcane Punisher. They push extremely hard. At level 7, we are going to go for Frostbit and increases our damage bonus of our trait from 50 to, I believe, 65% now. Uh, they do hop it over the wall, so we are going to try and be careful here. Um, no, that's, that's a question. Okay. Uh, we don't even get the front wall down, honestly, at this point, so a little bit, uh, a little bit short. The first, uh, Punisher of the game, very, very hard to get a whole lot of value from. Uh, camp's probably gonna be a little bit early to do that, but, uh, the friendly team... Whoa, shit, okay. Um, Thrall gonna take a shitload of damage and die because he pushed too far forward. Jaina does a deceptive amount of damage. Like, she's a burst hero. She is a mage. But you wouldn't really think that she would do all that much. But as soon as you get in too deep, she can slow you down and crush everyone on your team. So, we are doing quite well. We are up a little bit over a full level. Apath are doing a great job of pushing on bottom. They are all the way to the keep and nearly taking that down. The fort, excuse me. All right. And this is where she does a very good job is clearing down waves. Holy shit, the top lane. Whoa, what's... Oh, shit, okay. Was gonna type, and then was gonna go down. Okay, we're gonna slow him down and get out just fine. Um, we can just kind of hang out here for our sippy cup and go back in. Was gonna say what was going up top, but then almost died. So, grind strategy? Um, we can take this, actually. Would be a good idea to take these. Being honest here, trench warfare. Uh, let's see, we can actually come in on this thrall. We do have sight of Johanna, which is a major issue for us up top. Again, just gonna throw slow down this thrall, he's not gonna be able to do anything to us. We can slow him down enough to get away, and Arthas there as well, going to root him in our shots. We do have level 10 advantage, we are going for. Ring of Frost. So with Arthas and myself, we are going to be able to do a ridiculous amount of things there. Okay. Okay. Can uh, just kind of keep poking in here. They're not going to really engage this, so we want to make sure that we're still staying ahead and soak and in our advantage. So we can kind of poke them off of this tower here. And she's not going to really be able to do a whole lot to us, honestly. So we're going to be able to kind of stay pretty safe against Johanna. Uh, the enemy team looks like they are going to disengage from bottom. We're just going to take this minion wave, or excuse me, the camp down and engage on mid. We do not see where they went. Okay. So they are all over here. Boom! Oh, the Ring of Frost not going to connect. That was the biggest whiff I have done in a, quite a while. Okay. Just going to try and deter them with that Blizzard. We should be able to grab a couple of these and then make our exit. We do need to heal up. We do have a substantial advantage on the objective thus far. Dub so far. All right. The friendly team actually being extremely positive. That is uh, somewhat uncommon right now for uh, for a quick match. Uh oh, Thrall in a bit of trouble. Can we make it to him to save him? He is going to get rooted and dropped. No, we are not going to be able to do a whole lot there. We do still only have seven remaining, so we're going to go ahead and drop down the blizzard. See what we can. Okay, all right. Get... Nope. All right, we're juking each other out now. Me and the friendly Medivh having a bit of trouble there. Okay. Uh, Arthas going to drop, unfortunately. Uh, but we do gain another objective. Okay. If Rainer wants to push in here, we can just fuck him up. Okay. Johanna going to want to stay here. And Rainer going to fall with the Abathur top hat for myself. That is going to be a pretty solid shot here. We are going to blow her up as well. 
Uh, Johanna and Rainer staying way too late in that engagement, and they did pay for it with their lives. Love that, Nick. Oh, uh, yes. Grab camps in Abathur's Lane. That is not a... Well, there's none down there, but... Uh, I mean, as soon as they come up, yeah. Okay. So the... Oh! The enemy Nova gonna drop to the Punisher. All right, and at level 13, we are going to go for Ice Barrier. Basically, any damage that we do is going to be returned, with our abilities, I should say, is going to be returned to us as a shield. So we are going to gain, look at the massive shield that's going to come out there. We're going to drop the, oh, that's going to be a pretty good Ring of Frost. Uh, the Polymorph coming out on Johanna. Just going to try and zone for ourselves here. We do hit the Rainer there. Oh, we do miss him there, though. Oh, we need to get away as much as possible. All right, so we do trade two for two there. Not the uh, best that we could have done with that, but I think that uh, Medivh coming in here, we can still come in and fuck with this Rainer a bit. All right, so we know that... Uh... All right, going to be a good time to just kind of back up here. Hopefully, Abathur can give us a top hat. He is pushing in on a keep wall. We do see the fr or the enemy Rainer pushing that wave back, but with the shields that we're able to gain for ourselves, we are able to sustain pretty well on taking camp. So Jaina goes from like incredibly squishy and not really a great character for doing stuff like camps to being able to sustain with really no health loss. So very interesting in that kind of regard. Nova pushing out too deep again and being taken down yet again. Um, we do need to, oh, okay, well, we do lose that one, unfortunately. Just a second too late. We are going to ping that we do have our Ring of Frost ready once again. The Johanna, oh, going to be able to take him down. Okay, well, we are going to drop that out. The Thrall, oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, that's going to be it for us. All right, well, we got a little bit too bold. Um... Yeah, Medivh wanting to stay a little bit too late, and the whiff again on the Syndragosa. Not going to be a great sign for the friendly team, but we do have 16 advantage. Fracking terrible. All right, and here what we are going to go for is Northern Exposure. It basically inflicts the target with uh, Vulnerable on our E. So going to make it substantially easier to burn down a target or increase our burst damage quite substantially. Let's take a look and see, do we have, we have no other ult up at the moment for about 30 seconds. We should probably just defend this because I don't think that we're going to be able to get in here and do much of anything. Arth is disagreeing with me going in. Oh, that's not going to be a, hmm. Okay, Johanna's staying out of all of that nonsense. Oh, we are going to go down here. Very good Sunder by the uh, enemy Thrall there. They're gonna wipe us down. Uh, should not probably have engaged on that. But you try and follow your team and help them out. Abathur is taking top. Yes, he is. Abathur doing a fantastic job of pushing in and taking down these towers. That monstrosity doing ridiculous work right now. He's just gonna run that out until it does die. Give it his shields. Jesus, he is doing incredible work. And bottom lane as well, pushing in towards that keep. So, the enemy is on our keep wall. They're probably going to get that, but not much else. Likely not going to be able to sustain with us respawning here. We should be pushing mid and trying to take this camp. Give Abathur a little bit of help up top and continue that pressure. And we are able to do very, very well with... Oh, he's going to get rooted! The vulnerable, and he just explodes for that damage. Holy shit. Awesome. <laughs> he got blown up. Uh, that actually was even a little bit more than I thought he was going to take. That vulnerable, with all three waves there, going to do absolute work. We can go invade theirs, which would be a great use of our time altogether. Invade on theirs. They are likely to take that down. We do know that Thrall is bottom, and we do have Rainer down. So this is a very good opportunity for us to steal this. Arthas needs to get in here, though, and make sure that we are going to be safe. 
Nadiv not going to be able to do dick about it. So we are going to get out of here. Uh, we can engage here. Oh, the Medivh portals on every side is going to make this a very weird thing. Okay, we can burn our Ring of Frost here, but not going to feel like that's a good use. Oh, God. All right, we are going to hit this Thrall real hard here. But the Medivh shield, again, going to disrupt everything that we are doing. We do need to back out because we are down Thrall and now down another... Uh, we do take down the Johanna, and we are freezing up, getting a lot of latency from the servers. Okay, we are going to try and keep turning around, but we are going to die there. That is unfortunate, but we do take down that keep, and they are pushing in on core. Not going to do any damage there, unfortunately. Abathur having to try and clean up bottom lane there. Um, to be fair, we should have just got the camp and just backed out. We gave them a lot of time to respond to that when they all came up, and we are down a body due to Abathur and him not having his um, evolution traits or the uh, evolution ultimate instead going with the monstrosity so instead of cloning he is going for the split bull push however uh, even though we are likely to lose this objective we do still have our in half of our wall actually still here so we can make the immortal jump over the wall um, he Thrall needs to be extremely careful Needs to back out there. Um, what we should probably do is just soak. Soak as much as we can. And make him jump. Alright, hopefully that, that can kind of get through to our friendly team there. Because we are going to be pushing to level 20. And if we can get that in the middle of this push that the enemy does have, that's going to do a very, very good deal for us. Okay. So we are coming up here. Alright, and they do have Sindrago, so we do have... He should be popping some Gosa like right about now. Oh, he does hit the Medivh. We are going to drop down the... Oh, my goodness gracious. Johanna going to fall. Thrall going to fall. Raynor deciding to stay and die himself. Very good job there by the friendly team of wiping down. Not sure how Medivh standing in the laser beams. We do need to be careful because if that does jump up, we are going to be fucked. So... We are going to go for improved ice block here. And looks like on the bottom lane, Abathur doing some great work there. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Whew. Panic there for just a second. Try and juke out these lasers and heal up as much as we can. We should just be able to sippy cup and re-engage down on some camps. And Abathur taking down a second keep while we still have our middle fort. So a very, very good job by our friendly Abathur of making sure that uh, we are in a dominant position by Siege. So, very good job all around by the friendly team here thus far. And somehow, the enemy Nova falling. Uh, we are with Thrall here, so we do have a bit of clear on these objectives, or excuse me, on these camps. Going to be able to burn those down with one W. Okay, and we do have... This top camp coming in 28 seconds. Whoa, they are going to bait that. So we're going to go ahead and back out here. We do see two members of the enemy team on the bottom lane. I agree with that. I think that this is going to be a good play here for us. We can, however, clear this very, very quickly. Oh, a very good bolt by that enemy thrall. Uh, we should be able to do a bit here if he can get in. Oh, okay, we are going to be out of position here, so we need to make sure that we're careful. But if we can land this ring... Oh, man. A very good job by the uh, enemy Medivh there, uh, wiping down most of the opportunity that we have to hit these great rings. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, he is going to fall. If we can get the land out there... Yes, yes! The... Oh, we're not going to be able to take her down. Damn, that shield is real strong. Okay, Abathur, though, pushing the top lane. Holy minions, Batman. That is going to do a great deal of work. We are going to clear middle here quite easily. As you can see, the mana that we have, we because of our, uh, what, level 4 talent? Arcane Intellect? We're not having any issues with mana at all. I mean, zero. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I believe... 
I'm curious if Arthas stacks with Jaina. I don't believe so. No. It's only our own shill. So, I was thinking that if the combo came out there, that would be a little bit absurd. So, I think that they uh, thought of that way before I did. This is not a uh, new kind of combo here. But uh, having the Arthas on our team with the Roots is going to make it substantially easier, as you can see throughout this game, to land uh, some significant shots and just do a stupid amount of damage. Now, the Abathur is going to be in a little bit of danger, but uh, he's running away with his arms in the air. All right, and we might be able to hit a ring here. We know that that was uh, wiped out there. The stun coming out from... Oh, no. I had Ice Block, too. I had it. I knew it was there, and I didn't do anything about it. Hit her. Hit her. Oh, that is going to be a dead Nova. Oh. Arth is going too deep. Too, too deep. We'd have three on the friendly team dead, but the push from Abathur, the, uh, the Mortar Punisher, excuse me, is going to do quite a bit of work on this core, and if they aren't real safe, oh, he just needs to get out. He just needs to get out and run away. Uh, down to 37, 32, 29. It's going to be a little bit short, but the push that we have going in almost every other lane is probably going to secure us the victory here with 16, 13. The kill on... On Rainer, that is going to be GG, ladies and gentlemen. A very good match from all sides. Arthas doing a stupid amount of damage this game. Uh, we did die quite a few times. We were kind of caught out there. So, not the best play. I'm not the best Jane in the world. But she has been one that I've been attracted to lately. Uh, because she does ridiculous uh, burst damage. And is a very, very solid mage here. I'm going to switch that back up. So with that, we do get level 8. Again, the talents that we went for today, so uh, the overall stats, we did 47,000 damage. Uh, Siege damage at 57. The Abathur carrying, absolutely carrying this game. Uh, Abathur doing a great deal of work there. Holy shit. We do go 9, 15, and 6, so not the best game, but pretty solid, though. The talents that we did go for, uh, not 100% the most common, I don't believe. But we did go for Lingering Chill, increasing our trait from 4 to 6 seconds. Arcane Intellect to increase our overall damage capability with not having to go back for mana. So the longer we're in the fight, the more that we can cast spells, the better we're going to do. Uh, and that does return 5 from basic attacks and 20 from abilities on any chilled targets. Frostbitten, so increasing the bonus damage from our trait from 50 to 65%. Uh, Ring of Frost, it does... Uh, Obviously, in that circle there, freeze anyone in place rooting them and allowing us to hit our abilities and our combo there. Ice Barrier gaining a little bit more sustain for us so that we have our shields when we are doing damage. So similar to uh, almost like Kerrigan, where she hits damage and she gains shields from that and increases her own sustain. Jaina, with uh, her 13 talent Ice Barrier, is able to somewhat do that herself. It is in bursts because Jaina is not a sustained uh, damage character. She's a burst character, so... Comes and goes in that kind of regard, but when you're in the middle of a team fight, that can be a lifesaver. Northern Exposure at 16 and making the enemy vulnerable with our E and, uh, again, able to hit those combos. So if you can knock someone... Uh, so a couple times Arthas did root somebody. We did hit them with the Northern Exposure, our Q, uh, Frostbolt, and then into the W, our Blizzard, on top of them, and they just kind of exploded. And though we didn't really use it, we had about one opportunity to, and I failed to do so, uh, Ice Block making yourself invulnerable for two and a half seconds. Very, very good, and I did not use it. The one time right there at the end of the game that I could have saved myself and pushed the core a little bit quicker, I failed to do so. Kind of panicked there. But that definitely happens. But that, ladies and gentlemen, was Jaina Proudmore. I uh, don't think she has any changes upcoming because she's in a pretty good spot. She is one of the top assassins, at least on hot slogs, so pretty common there. And she is used, again, in a lot of levels of play, so a very good character to pick up and... Though she has a little bit of nuance with her ultimate for sure, uh, she is fairly easy to pick up. Her ability is kind of straightforward in the sense of where you need to use them and when. You can kind of just kind of shoot those out at any time, um, though you can take better advantage of them if you line them up appropriately, especially after level 13. But uh, that is Jaina Proudmore in her current state, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> I repeat myself there, of course, as any end of the video. I am Exalted One, and we will see you all next time in the Nexus.